Now, this final debate was intended to focus on foreign affairs, and it was dominated by talk about the Mideast, which leads us now to Rutgers professor Hamid Abdul-Jabir, who spent 25 years working in and around that area for the United Nations. Welcome. It's a pleasure Thank to have you, you with us. What did you think about last night's discussions? It was a very interesting discussion. I thought that uh, Romney tried to project himself as a reasonable man, as a, a possible alternative to uh, President Obama. However, I think he failed. How so? Uh, he tried to adopt most, most of these positions that Obama himself had taken. He supported him, in fact, in his uh, effort in Afghanistan to withdraw by 2014. He supported him in not uh, going to the uh, military option in Syria. He supported him in imposing uh, hard sanctions in Iran. And he supported him in a uh, different variety of issues, supporting the Arab Spring and the, uh, uh, the uh, demonstrations of those young uh, uh, Egyptians and Tunisians for, the, for democracy and dignity. So, when it comes so in to fact, a... he could not project himself. What is his vision? I was asking, as many did. Mm -hmm. And I didn't try to find a separate vision for uh, Governor uh, Romney. I was going to ask you that precise question. In fact, uh, as you know far better than I, there's a difference between discussing foreign affairs and, and uh, coming out with a foreign policy statement or a projection of, of foreign policy on yes. the part of the country. Did you detect anything among either one of those candidates of a coherent sense of an overarching foreign policy of the United States? I thought Obama came across a little better because he's, he had experienced foreign policy for four years. In fact, he was resorting to his own experience. So we cannot say that he's projecting a foreign policy. However, that means he didn't, uh, uh, he didn't succeed all the times. And there are a few things that he promised to do and to, to bring back America to its uh, rightfully place uh, as a, a world leader. Yes, there was some uh, mess that left from the previous administration, he said, and he wanted to get it out of this mess. However, I think I thought Romney, he moved to the center to project himself as more reasonable and he could do a better job and more stretch his hand to all these countries around the world and put America in its right place uh, f f for w world leadership. You know this once again, I yeah. mean, because of your experience, that yeah. much of what's said in this country, it's not just for, it may be for domestic consumption by the voters, That's but true. there are people around the world watching. Yes. What, for instance, were the people in Pakistan or the people in Afghanistan uh, to the extent that they could watch, or the people in Iraq glean from what was said last night? Yes, I think they wanted to see more understanding of their concern and their uh, grievances, which is, I found that it was a little bit missing. For example, the Arab world would always watch to see if the two candidates mentioned the question of Palestine, which was almost ignored totally in the last, uh, last night debate. I mean, that is some of the real root causes of the grievances. And if the uh, candidates address that issue, it would send a very clear, positive message of the uh, candidate. That's why Obama was very much well received in his first term when he uh, sent uh, George Mitchell as a special envoy. And he spoke in the um, uh, Cairo University on June 5, 2009, promising that he will help create a, an independent, viable Palestinian state. But later on, he distanced himself from that project. That's why they have some grievances. Well, Governor Romney tried to project that as a so-called apology tour last night. Do you think, what, is it, what kind of message does that send? I, I thought that is, uh, uh, Obama did not do any apology for the region. In fact, there was some uh, misunderstanding and misconception uh, uh, of the previous administration. And he needed to stretch out his hand to the region, especially the Muslim world, after two wars in Iraq and in Afghanistan. So I think his, trip, uh, his overseas trip to Turkey, Iraq, and uh, Saudi Arabia, and, uh, and Egypt was not an apology. In fact, was a stretching hand and improving the image of the United States, which has been Honestly, and speaking frankly, it was a little bit distorted during those uh, years, especially after the war in Iraq, which was not endorsed by the Security Council, as you know. And many uh, leaders and the peoples of the region consider that war was unnecessary, illegal, whatever you want to call it. And it distorted the relations between the United States and the peoples of the region. Dr. Abdul-Jabir, let's continue this conversation. Thank you, sir. Thank you.